Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how you can really quickly retarget the Lyra character mesh and animations to any other character mesh that you have, whether it's a Unreal Engine 5 skeletal mesh or a Unreal Engine 4 character, this will work for both. So the very first thing that you need is actually a character mesh. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using the stylized character kit, uh, which is actually free on the marketplace. So if you want to go ahead and download this, this is permanently free and you can just go ahead and add it to your Lyra starter game. And now that it is added here, we can go into the content stylized character kit and you can see the different character models that we get. And all we really need to do to retarget this particular character mesh to the Lyra character is we just need to go into the, into the characters, heroes, and then here in the mannequin UE4 and here to the animations, and you're going to see we have this animation blueprint UE4 mannequin underscore retarget. Now all we have to do is right click and retarget anim assets, duplicate and retarget animation blueprint. So this will pull up the new animation retargeter for Unreal Engine 5 and then over here for your IK retargeter you already have these pre-made options. So all we have to select is this UE4 Manny to UE5 Manny. Okay, and like I said, this will work for if you're retargeting to the UE4 or the UE5 Mannequin, it doesn't really matter. For our source skeletal mesh, we're using this SK Mannequin. For our target, we can change this to our target mesh that we want. So in this case, I'll choose this stylized character mesh PC underscore one. And then you just choose where you want to save the animation blueprint. So we can change this folder into our content, right click, make a new folder. We can just name this test retarget. Click OK, and then just click retarget. So now we have our animation blueprint and to apply this to our character, we go into our content browser. So go to your characters, cosmetics. Here in our B Manny, you'll pull this up. And then here in the viewport, you can see we have this mesh component that we can swap out. So just swap this out to your mesh PC underscore zero one or whatever skeletal mesh that you retargeted to. And then find the UE4 mannequin retarget, the blueprint that we retargeted. So now if we hit play here, you can see we have our character with all of the retargeted animations. So we can pick up a rifle here and you can see that we have all the animations set up and it's pretty much that easy. Uh, now if you're doing this for a UE5 character mesh, it'll be the same sort of process and in fact I can show you how to exactly do that. Basically, if you are going to retarget to a UE5 character skeleton, all you have to do is go to the characters, heroes, then mannequin, animations, and you're going to see here this ABP underscore mannequin retarget. Right click, retarget animation assets, duplicate and retarget. For your IK retargeter, you just have to select the RTG underscore mannequin. And then the target mesh, you would choose your UE5 mesh. So um, I don't currently have a UE5 skeletal mesh, um, like a custom character or whatnot. So if there's one off the marketplace or maybe even using a metahuman, they're probably retargeted to the new UE5 skeleton. But you guys can download that and swap it out here. And then just click the retarget button and that should work pretty easily. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Just want to make a quick video to show you guys how easy it is to swap out the character mesh and the Lyra starter game. If you guys want to see some more Lyra uh, tutorials, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you stay up to date with my tutorials and videos. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.